Pest Geek Podcast, episode number zero. Pull out your hose and grab your can. We're about to integrate another Pest Geek Podcast. Hi, everybody. Frank Hernandez here, and welcome to the Pest Geek Podcast, bringing you the latest news, products, and politics from today's leading industry pros, offering you their technical marketing and growth strategies to give you the pest management professional that killer edge. Hello, fellow Pest Geeks. This is Frank Hernandez here to introduce a new podcast called the Pest Geek Podcast. Now, you may be asking yourself, what is the Pest Geek Podcast? Well, I created the Pest Geek Podcast after being in the pest control industry for about 10 years, and I saw a great need uh, for this type of uh, media uh, to serve the, the pest control industry in this capacity. Now, I am not an industry veteran. I started out in this industry pretty much as a part-time, uh, you know, as a Saturday gig, you know, picking up uh, the hose, uh, filling this can, filling that can, pulling this product, pulling that product. And um, after a couple of weeks of this, I kind of liked it. And it was really challenging for me, and I, and I enjoyed it. And I decided to give the pest control industry a try. But um, as it is with a lot of uh, small companies and uh, small employers, uh, there wasn't a whole lot of training for me. The, pretty much my, my initial training was, uh, here's how many ounces you put of this and here's how many ounces you put of that. And you spray it like this and you spray it like that. There was no real focus on training me on being a, a pest control expert. Uh, I did know nothing about pest identification, um, IPM, diseases, pest cycles. None of that was ever taught to me. And after a couple of months uh, of being in this industry, I I hit a proverbial brick wall. Uh, I started having problems with uh, controlling pests. I had callbacks. Customers were complaining that, you know, I didn't do it like the other guy did and that kind of thing. And I wasn't getting any answers. So I, I devised a plan that I figured might work. And what I did was that I was doing a lot of lawn and ornamental. And for those of you who are in the industry, uh, understand how complicated that can be with diseases, with multiple insects, deficiencies, you know, improper trimming, uh, irrigation. So too many things were involved that I wasn't getting uh, the answers I wanted. And what I did was I started becoming uh, an expert in, in this field by just taking plants um, that, I, that I was having trouble with and I was going down to the nursery and I didn't know what these plants were. I, you know, I don't know a whole lot about plants. And I took them down to a nursery and they would tell me what the plants were. And I discovered uh, my local uh, university here in Florida, the University of Florida Extension, the IFAS program. I discovered that and I was able to then uh, look at all these plants and then figure out what kind of insects what were attacking them and what kind of problems they were having. And as the more I read and the more I studied, I figured out, you know, this was actually more complex than I thought. Uh, you know, initially I thought it was all about the spring and that's a lot, how a lot of people see this industry. So I, I would do this for about maybe four to six hours a day at night and I would go home and, and, and study. And, um, you know, over the course of several months, I was studying about, you know, one plant and one insect a, a day. So I, I had a pretty good repertoire of what was going on, uh, with different plants and, and insects and diseases. And, um, lo and behold, there was, um, an extension agent that I called, uh, cause I was trying to figure some things out and I learned about the extension service and I called him up and I was able to go down there and speak to a lot of the people that work there in, in different capacities. They have entomologists on staff. Uh, they have pathologists on staff, plant pathologists, uh, for diseases. And I was able to really, uh, pick these guys brains. One of the things that I, I've always been able to be good at is to ask good questions. And I asked very pointed, very good questions, and I was getting very good answers. Uh, after a little while of that, I got the opportunity through my local college here uh, to take a course uh, on uh, becoming a certified horticultural specialist, which would, you know, enable me to manage and, and, and operate a nursery, which, you know, was right up my alley because I dealt with a lot of plants. So after I became a certified horticultural specialist, uh, you know, I was pretty much on my way to to knowing a lot of things. And I was able to help a lot of people along the way that were struggling the same way I was, 
but they're not wired to be self-taught. You know, not a lot of people are, and I'm just blessed to be wired that way. And I was able to then help and train a lot of, of pest control technicians who were, who were struggling trying to figure this out. Some were trying to break into this industry and I was able to help them. And, uh, word started getting around that uh, um, I was pretty good at this and uh, I was getting results. My, my customer base was growing. We were doing a lot of neat things with new products and, and trials and, and with biologicals because I just love the process of research and development. And that's just a glorified term for, um, oops, you know, we messed this up. Uh, how many times do we have to mess it up before we figure it out? And, and I just have, uh, the, the patience and, and the ability to do that. And I just started to do a lot of research and a lot of, uh, work with a lot of the, uh, you know, the entomologists and the extension service and, and with different things. And we were able to develop a very, very good program that's very effective down here in South Florida with everything that we have. So, you know, uh, you know, the joke was they, they started calling me, you know, Dr. Frank, which, you know, I have no degree in entomology, by the way. I, I don't have a, a formal degree in, in any of these sciences, but I enjoy the processes and I enjoy uh, teaching and I enjoy training people. I always have going back to my IT days. My background originally is in sales management and um, basically uh, information technology and, and some programming. But I, you know, I don't, I don't, I didn't know anything about pests when I started in this industry. I came into this cold turkey. And, um, so that just became, uh, a thing for me where now I, I'm, um, I'm state certified as a BMP instructor. I, I teach down at the extension service on, on core and, uh, some CEUs for that. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying, uh, this part of, of my life where I actually get to do a lot of uh, teaching and training uh, with a lot of uh, landscapers and a lot of uh, pest control people and even some irrigation guys who have to work and design systems uh, to work well with, with gardens. And I decided that uh, all this knowledge and information and my ability to, to, to talk and, and, and communicate and ask good questions because really that's what it's about. It's asking good questions. It's not always about the chemical and how many ounces to add, but asking very good questions. And and I enjoy that, and I enjoy conversations with people. And I said, why not turn this type of, of, of information into a podcast? And why a podcast? Well, the, the reality is that if you're a technician or you're a manager or you're a uh, or operating a, a pest control business, you really don't have a, so a lot of people, most of them are independents and they don't have a lot of budgets to do a lot of, of training, go to classes, spend days because, you know, you lose a day of work, you know, it's, it's six to a hundred to a thousand dollars a day that you lose in production. And you don't have the time to sit there and surf the web for all this information. And unless you're really pressed you know, to surf magazines and, and watch a ton of YouTube videos that might be or might not be good. There's a lot of bad information out there. But um, the, the medium of podcasting is excellent because uh, I did a lot of, of driving. Uh, I drove, I, I still drive about 28,000 miles a year. I used to drive up to almost 50,000 miles a year as a salesperson. And uh, I discovered that uh, audio tapes were a great way for me to get a lot of education. I go back to, you know, 25, uh, years ago to, to Zig Ziglar and, and listening to sales tapes by Zig Ziglar in my car. And that's how I got a lot of my education. Till this day, uh, my biggest form of education is audio. I, I listen to a lot of audio books. I, I have an audible uh, subscription where I get a book a month and I, and I listen to a lot of books. And it's just a non-interruptive way for you to be able to get a lot of information, uh, about what's going on. I mean, face it, you, you got to stay up with everything that's going on in this industry, uh, diseases, pests, the new things coming, legislation, the news, uh, new products coming out, and, um, you know, just a, a host of information that, that you need to stay up with to stay current and basically have that killer edge uh, in this industry. And those who don't uh, fall behind and they, they're staying with old tactic, old techniques, old technology, and they're not advancing. But there's a lot of people out there that want it and want to advance and want to be the best. And I figured this would be a great way for me to interview a lot of people in this industry. Uh, those pathologists, uh, people who are entomologists, 
arborists, horticulturists, botanists, manufacturers, uh, a lot of uh, good salespeople that are out there for for manufacturers reps about all these new products. Uh, you know, the in, interviewing the industry people uh, in the in the associations around the country and around the world, uh, talking about what they struggle with in, in helping their uh, members. Uh, along. So this information can be, you know, just made available really easily for you on, on any mobile device now, uh, with iTunes and, and all these types of apps that are available for, for listening to podcasts, that this would be a great way, uh, for me to, to utilize my talents and ability and, and serve the industry, which by the way is an awesome industry to be in. Uh, if you're not in this industry and you're looking for a great industry to get into, this is a very, very lucrative and profitable industry. And, and it's, you know, it has its share of problems and people are always pointing fingers at us, uh, the pest control people, because we, you know, we're the cause of everything. We're the evil Satan that's contaminating the environment. But without us, uh, life as we know it, uh, would not exist. And, and that is a, a great honor and a, and a great privilege to be able to serve humanity by protecting the environment. And, and we are environmentalists. I see myself as an environmentalist. I work on protecting the environment. I also work on protecting people's health and protecting property. And that's what we do. We, we, we deal with all these issues and complex problems in society. And this is a great way for us to be able to share as a community um, and be able to communicate what it is that we do and to, with other people who are up and coming uh, that they're able to get good information uh, from reputable sources because there is a lot of, uh, let's face it, there's a lot of junk out there on the Internet and not a lot of it is credible. So we're looking at doing this, and we could not do this uh, really without you, the listener. This is a listener-supported, uh, listener-contributed uh, podcast. Uh, so what we've done is, in order for us to be able to to make this happen, we're going to be interviewing, like I said, all these manufacturers, including experts. And yes, we're, we're going to be talking also to lawyers and accountants because they have great information for us to keep us out of trouble, uh, in this industry. Also, uh, people who are in the new media, uh, world, uh, as far as internet and, and, uh, social media, podcasting, uh, contributing to this, to this, and also veterans of the industry who have built great businesses. Uh, and are able to to share, inspire, and motivate us into excellence. And that's really what we're looking for. So this is what this podcast is about. Uh, if you want to participate, and, and if you're in industry, if you're in the industry and you have questions, you have comments, you have something to share with the uh, Pest Geek Society, I want to encourage you to get involved. We, we've set up on our website at pestgeekpodcast.com, there's a telephone number that you can call 24-7, leave a recorded message, and that recorded message may be used on the air as part of our podcast. So we want to uh, get you involved because you really are the ones that are out there, uh, you know, finding out what you're, you're running into and how to solve these problems. And you have a lot to contribute. So we want to encourage you to do that, and, and you can leave a recorded message 24-7. If you do not prefer to have your voice on the air, uh, then you can just use the written method in our contact form and you can contact us and leave a message or a comment at our website. What we encourage you to do also is to, uh, just become a member by subscribing to the podcast. Go, you know, if you're in iTunes, uh, subscribe. Also leave a comment and give us a like if, if you like, comment on the podcast. This will greatly help us in iTunes, uh, so that more people can find us and iTunes can give us better ranks. Uh, and get involved by um, sharing this podcast with coworkers and colleagues. Uh, you know, send an email to your base and say, hey, this is a pretty cool podcast. I've listened to it, and you might benefit from this. And, you know, we can all grow together in, in this process. Uh, visit the web the website at pestgeekpodcast.com for more information. And there you will also have uh, all the podcasts that are, are being published. There will be podcasts there. There will also be in iTunes and on Stitcher Radio. So those are the three mediums that we have right now to share uh, this podcast. And it would be great if you would consider becoming a guest on our show. You can simply just send us a note uh, through the comment section and uh, the contact us, and uh, we will send you the necessary uh, information that we're going to need uh, to get you 
on the podcast. And we greatly, greatly appreciate uh, all the contribution uh, you make in this effort uh, to get the word out and, and get people uh, engaged and get people involved. And uh, hopefully we'll be hearing from you and you'll be listening to us uh, over the Internet, uh, anywhere you find yourself across the globe, uh, because this is a global podcast. So we'll be uh, talking to people around the globe. And I think it's going to be exciting and interesting uh, to see how this uh, turns out. Um, my expectations are that we would just be able to have great guests that will have a lot to contribute uh, to the society. And we thank you. I thank you. Uh, my family thanks you and all the people that work with me on this. Uh, thank you uh, for your listening to this and getting involved with us. And we thank you and we wish you a great day. Thank you for listening to the Pest Geek Podcast. If you have enjoyed the Pest Geek Podcast, please give us a rating, write a review, or subscribe to the channel. You can join the Pest Geek Society by visiting pestgeekpodcast.com. Thank you for listening. See you next time. Thank you.